Why do you need this book so much anyway? It's not the book I need, it's the, it's the crack cocaine I hit in the spine. you talking to Craig you should be careful around that guy he's a mess eh thanks for the tip probably should talk to you first what are you up to well I would be practicing with my slam dunk but that power tripping guard confiscated all the balls Ugh, why did you do that well some nerd kid from the library was using a ball to reenact a scene from Shakespeare you know the guy with the skull. Ah, yes. Uh, Hamlet. Uh, yes, Hamlet. Hamlet, yes. Yeah, something like that. So anyway, the nerdy guy, he was holding the ball out, shouting, Alas, poor York. And all that shit. When suddenly, the dick guard, he comes along and says, This is a yard, not a theater. And he whacks the ball at, with his baton. Well, the ball... It's made of rubber, see, and it bounces, and it bounced right off of this wall here and hit the god smack in the face. So the god, he gets mad and he starts whacking all the balls. Short story, sh sh short story is, we get, we got all our balls confiscated. Wow. God, these freaking guards here are stupid. That's really a shame, man. You're damn right. I haven't done anything competitive in weeks. It's driving me mad. Tell you what, how about a game of rock, paper, scissors? You'd be doing me a favor. Eh, why not? Why not? Sure, why not? Awesome. All right. First person to score three points wins. You ready? Three, two, one, go! Uh, rock. Rock on rock, it's a draw. Next round, three, two, one, go! Scissors. Scissors on scissors. Heh! <laughs> That's a draw. Next one. Three, two, one, go. Scissors. Oh no. Yeah, my rock smashes your scissors. I get a point. Next round. Three, two, one, go. Scissors on scissors. Ha! <laughs> That's a draw. Next round. Three, two, one, go. Ah, you choose paper too? That's a draw. Next round, three, two, one, go. Damn, rock beat scissors. That's your point. Next round, three, two, one, go. Scissors on scissors, eh? That's a draw. Next round, three, two, one, go. Oh no! Ah, scissors, cause the paper, my point. Next round, three, two, one, go. Paper beats rock, that's a point for you. Next round, three, two, one, go. Uh, rock on rock, it's a draw. Next round, three, two, one, go. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, my rock beats your scissors, that's a point. Phew, that's my third point, I win. Bad luck, man, come back anytime you want the game. Yeah, uh, I'm back. You sure are, fans another game? Yes. Anything to get some cigarettes? Damn it, rock beats scissors, that's your point. Next round, three, two, one, go. <laughs> Paper two. Damn it, rock beats scissors, that's your point. Scissor, ha, that's a draw. Next round. Paper, re, rock, re, paper beats rock. That's a point for you. Hey, that's your third point. You win. Serves me right for getting cocky. Well played, man. Here's your victor cigarette. You earned it. Thanks, man. Yeah. Sorry. Stuck in the... Stuck in it. Thanks. Thanks. Whew. I lost my voice. That brings me to five cigarettes. 
One more to go. <sighs> I might have to go ask that guy. Okay, there's no point going back in my cell. Is there anyone else in here besides my friend? No. <laughs> so we gotta go ask the one guy. Okay. La, la, la. Are there any are there any hidden cigarettes? No. No, there's not. No hidden cigarettes. I guess I should have asked him. I just figured he's working out that he uh, wouldn't have no cigarettes. Hello there. Greetings, what's on your mind? I don't suppose you got any cigarettes I could have you. Indeed I do. Uh, can I have some? As much as I'd like to help you out, I can't just give cigarettes away. They're very valuable. I have a proposal. How about a wager? I'll bet you a cigarette that I can do more push-ups than you in ten seconds. Eh. Uh, probably. Sure. Sure, you're on. Excellent. Okay. The person who does the most push-ups in 15 seconds wins. Three, two, one, go! Okay, let me get get warmed up. Okay, let my legs and my butt stiff. Oh, my legs are a bit stiff. Umph, can't quite kneel down. This used to be so easy. Sorry, I wasn't watching. I did 20 push-ups. How many did you do? 21. I did 21 push-ups. Really? Wow, no one's ever beaten me before. A deal's a deal. Here's your cigarette. I promised. Uh, thanks. Great, now I've got six cigarettes. Time to go to the canteen to talk to Sheen. Guys, really easy to manipulate over the cigarettes. Nope, wrong way. Now back to the showers. I know, I know... I know. There's naked men in the showers, but we need to get out of here. Da, da, da. Let's go talk to our buddy and get the heck out of here. You better not just be trying to steal cigarettes from me. Hey. Hey, you get me six cigarettes? Yeah, here you go. Great job, man. You must have had to hurt a few people to get these. Actually, no. I managed to get them all without harming a single person. Really? Well, I'll be damned. You're a better man than me, Jack. I'll tell you that. Anyway, here are your wire cutters. Come on. You had them the whole time? Yes. You could have just given them to me straight away. Yes. Yeah, I guess that's expected. Why the hell would you put me through this? Uh, wanted cigarettes? You don't remember when we met, do you? Of course I do. We haven't been here that long. No, we, we met before you were in prison. As in, a long time before that. You were the one who arrested me the night I got caught. You are the reason I'm here. Oh. That. Ha. I'm not surprised that you forgot. I mean, just because you had such a big impact on my life doesn't mean you'd remember me. It's funny, isn't it? The things we remember, the people we forget. I'm sorry. Ah. Don't be. I made a stupid mistake and I spent a good while regretting it. But you know what? After a while, I realized, regrets get you nowhere, and you have to move on. So I did. 
You've, you've moved on. How come you made me hunt for cigarettes when you could have just helped me? Well, I'm, I'm not a saint. I couldn't resist the opportunity to mess with you a bit. Plus, I love cigarettes. <laughs> nah, we're not gonna be rude. Thanks for your help, man. You're welcome. Go to the chain link fence at the end of the yard. The wire cutter should make a short work of it. You're not coming? No, nah, there's nothing for me there. Besides, I can't imagine what it would be like to face the outside world after all this time. Good luck. I mean, granted, I kind of feel bad about arresting you after knowing the story that you tried to save the guy and yeah, put you away from murder. And you didn't murder him. He shouldn't have been a security guard if he could run. It's kind of a like commonsensical right there. Oh, whatever. Come on, guys. I'm breaking your asses out. Right. Uh, padlock itself is too sturdy to get through. The wire cutters, they're meant for cutting wire. I'm sorry, I kind of thought that you would just do it, but whatever. It's working. It'll get through the fence in no time. Hey, inmate! Oh no. What the hell you think you're doing? I'm just looking at the view. Think I'm stupid, huh? Your buddy Sheen already ratted you out. I know what you're planning. Ah, Sheen's an ass. I'm gonna put you in solitary confinement until you rot. I'm gonna make you regret that, old man. I guess that was the wrong thing to do. Wow, he just keeps beating me. Yes, I'm my friend. Leave my friend alone. Okay, no, we don't want to kill him. You can stop now. He's he's had enough. Anything for you, friend? Thanks. You've you've done good. I've got to go now. There's one last thing I need to take care of. Wait, before you go, you should take this. What on earth is this? A, a gun, yes? Where the hell did you get a gun? I had it smuggled in. You get some dangerous people around here. You can't be too cautious. But the outside world's even more dangerous. You need protection more than I do. Hmm. So always, do, you should never, never reject a gift. Thanks. This might come in handy. Now it's time for me to leave. A friend of mine needs my help. Can you go beat the crap out of Sheen for me too? Be nice. A long, long walk later. Sniffle, sniffle, snee. The house is just dilapidated, eh? <laughs> the door just hanging open. Phew. I'm exhausted. It's lucky that no one on the road paid me any attention. Uh, they're all texting. They they can't pay attention. I hard to believe it's been 40 years since. Mm. Okay, Jack. Take a deep breath. Sarah's being held hostage in there and she needs your help. Let's do this. Wonder who it is. Sorry guys, I'm adjusting my headphones. I had little kids on my computer today and they messed up my head. Apparently they have bigger heads than I do. Ha! It's amazing. I've done enough sitting down. Have you investigate it, but that's fine. Mark of the wall. 
The crappy curtains are still here. Yeah, that brings back memories. I'm sure we have a gun. Oh no. Oh god, no. Hello, Jack. Remember me? <laughs> Seriously? You're, you're Joanna Press. Yes, you're, you're Joanna Price, Jaren's widow. I thought, thought you were dead. That's what my no-good son wants people to think. Ashamed of me he is. Well, I'm still here. Like it or not. Let go of me, you crazy lady. I, I'm your granddaughter, for Christ's sake. Oh, so now you're my granddaughter. After I was dead to you for all these years. Didn't stop you from biting my ear off, did it, you little bitch? Rawr. The only family worth a damn to me died 40 years ago. Wow! Wow, it's like basically your kid. That's your kid's kid. That's like your kid. And, oh. You're, what? It was you who started the fire in my care home. You were supposed to be in there. You were supposed to burn. It was easy enough to get in. No one noticed another elderly person wandering around. But why did you do it? Why? You let my husband get killed, you idiot. I'm sorry, Joanna. Darren meant a lot to me. If he meant so much to you, you would have saved him. I spent 40 years blaming Foster for what happened, waiting for an opportunity to get revenge. And when he was finally released, I thought I'd have it. But killing him didn't change anything. It didn't take away the pain. It wasn't enough. I needed more. Which is where you come in, Jack. You, who failed my husband when he needed you most. I've never forgiven myself for what happened. Well, in that case, today's your lucky day. I'm going to give you a chance to redeem yourself. Let me see if you can stop me from killing the girl that you seem to care so much about. You're going to kill your own kid's kid, your grandkid, who actually thought you were dead. <laughs> what the fuck? Jack! Oh, you're just full of surprises, aren't you? Where on earth did you get that a gun from? Now this is exciting. Maybe you'll finally have the guts to go for the shot this time. Oh god, did they both die? <laughs> okay, good. Oh god, I was gonna be like, oh god. Hi. Hi. <clears throat> hey. You know, we don't have to come here for my sake. I'm glad you shot her. If you hadn't, it could have been me down there. Hey, I, I didn't come here for her. I came here for Darren. It's been too long since I visited him. I loved him so much. Besides, I don't blame Joanne for what happened. Decades of regret can completely change a person. Well, it didn't change you, Jack. I wasn't sure about you at first, but you've proved to me that you're a good person. You put yourself in danger to save me. That counts for a lot. I owed it to Darren. I couldn't let someone else I cared about die. You know, I was thinking about what you said about how I shouldn't join the, I shouldn't join the police. And you were right. It wouldn't really suit me. But I found investigating stuff with you was pretty cool, so I, I was wondering if you wanted to start a private detective firm with me. Seriously? Sorry, it's, it's dumb. I shouldn't have said anything. Of course I'll join you, Sarah. You mean it? Yes. Why wouldn't I? 
Teaming up with you was the best thing that happened to me in a long time. Awesome. This is going to be so much fun. I can't believe we're on our way to meet our very first client. It's so exciting. Yes, it is exciting. We've done really well to get this far, Sarah. You've done really well, yes. We did well, Jack. I couldn't have done it without your help. Yeah, well, that's kind of true, I guess. Man, this is the best. I can't remember the last time I felt so alive. Oh, God, she's going to die. Don't you just love nights like this? Dun, dun, dun. Only it was reversed. The last time. That was good. I really enjoyed that. I... I imagine there's only one ending. I don't know. With all the choices and stuff. But I imagine there's only one ending. It's just different. Well, actually, there probably is more than one ending. There's probably you die ending. Or she dies and then you die or something like that. But I don't know. I'm probably not going to go through and play it all again, to be honest. Um, I might. But I would probably do that off camera and just make different different choices and see in general what happens. But we'll see. I might might run through it again and see. I really enjoyed that. <clears throat> that was a great game. It was like three bucks. Definitely worth it. Maybe four. Three ninety nine with tax where I come from. It's about four dollars. Yeah. That was fantastic. I really, really liked that. Well, there you guys go. There is the last time you should uh, play it yourself and check out all the other pathways and craziness that goes on. And yeah, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Well, that's going to be all for tonight. Don't forget to share and subscribe. And as always, don't forget to tickle that like button because you know it wants it. No matter what it says.